Hey folks, it's Tim from MemoryWolf.com. In this short video, I'll be reviewing the Samsung 512GB P9 microSD Express memory card for the Nintendo Switch 2. I'll compare how quickly it loads Mario Kart World, how quickly it writes and reads from the system memory, the amount of actual usable storage capacity, it's not 512GB, and where it's made. So first off, we see how long it takes to load the first title screen from Mario Kart World and it takes just over 19 seconds to load. This is only three seconds slower than the system memory, which loads in around 16 seconds. The only cards slightly faster are the PNY and SanDisk card. The Lexar Play Pro and the Transcend are fractionally slower. Next up, I copy Mario Kart World from the Samsung card to the system memory to test the read speed. It takes three minutes and 41 seconds, which works out at roughly 99 megabytes per second. This puts it on par with the Lexar Play Pro, but behind the PNY card that achieved the same in around 3 minutes and 26 seconds, or roughly 106 megabytes per second. The SanDisk and Transcend cards were just slightly slower. Now I copy Mario Kart World from the system memory to the Samsung card to test the write speed. It takes a total of 5 minutes and 12 seconds, which is roughly 70 megabytes per second. This makes it one of the slowest cards in my write tests. The SanDisk is the fastest, achieving the same in 4 minutes dead. The Lexar Play Pro is the next fastest, taking 4 minutes and 12 seconds, followed by the Transcend in 4 minutes and 14 seconds. Then comes the PNY in 4 minutes and 16 seconds. So next we look at the actual usable capacity after formatting in the Switch 2. For various reasons, which we won't go into for now, the actual usable capacity is rarely what it says on the label. The 512GB Samsung card actually has 477GB of usable capacity. This is followed by the PNY with 476, the Transcend offers 470, the Lexar Play Pro 465 and the SanDisk 456GB. Finally, if you are interested in where the Samsung cards are made, this will be in Taiwan, but the country of company ownership is South Korea. So just to wrap it up, the Samsung P9 is a very good card. Its read times are only fractionally slower than the other cards that I compared it to, and it offers the most usable storage capacity of any of the cards I've tested so far. It's only let down by its write speeds, but these are not so important as the read speeds for gaming anyway. So I hope you found this review helpful. Please do hit the like button if you did, and perhaps drop a comment down below. You can also find shopping links for the cards mentioned down below this video, along with a link to my blog review. Until next time, happy playing.